To understand why this bridge is such a big deal, we need to go back nearly a century. The border between Detroit and Windsor has always been one of the busiest trade routes in the world. Right now, nearly 25% of all US-Canada trade moves through here. That's nearly $400 million worth of goods every single day. For decades, the Ambassador Bridge, built in 1929, was the only major crossing for commercial trucks. It's a privately owned bridge, controlled by one billionaire family, the Morales. For years, they made millions in toll revenue and fought tooth and nail to keep a monopoly on this trade corridor. The problem? The Ambassador Bridge is outdated. It was built nearly a century ago, doesn't connect directly to the highways, and has become a massive bottleneck for traffic. Trucks are forced to weave through local streets, creating congestion and delays. Governments on both sides of the border knew something had to change. But Manuel Matty Maroon, the billionaire who owned the Ambassador Bridge, wasn't about to lose his cash cow without a fight. 